Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I am Stormrunner Gaming, and today I'm going to be jumping up into the latest update, which is actually the RGB lights right here. And I've actually given um, the Voyager A here, one of my latest ships, um, some underglow here with um, some RGB lights. And I actually have set up two microprocessors here that are actually able to control the RGB lights. And I'll be showing you guys how to create both of them but the more advanced one I've set up on the Voyager here let me actually turn on the lights in here real quick and we've got three options between blue green red and of course we can turn all of those on at the same time or if we turn those off we can switch control and set how much of each color we want to come through on here so we can get like an orangish color almost there, a yellowish orange color there. And of course you can play with these values like this with all these dials and make it to whatever color you want. Like we got a purple going now. Uh, but of course we can switch back over and do green, red, blue, or whatever combination you want of the two base colors. We got yellow there, but we're going to jump it back to our workshop and we're going to jump into creating these microprocessors now. We're going to start with a new one, call it with a, we're going to call it a simple um, RGB controller here. And we're going to actually only need two nodes in here so we can make it a one by two block here. Just spreading those out. We just need a composite value and actually the one we're going to need to be a little bit bigger than that because we're going to need two more on here and I've actually clicked one too many. And we're going to be changing these three over to numerical values. And the system I'm setting up right now is going to be controlled by three throttles that change the value of red, green, or blue in the um, RGB light that you set up. And we're actually going to also need this to be our output going to the lights. And what all we're going to be doing here is we're going to take our red, green, and blue and the output, and we're going to have to write um, numerical values to three different channels to um, tell the light what color we want it to actually be. So we'll set up red to one, green to our channel two, and blue to the third channel. And then all we need to do here is connect up all these to the output here. And that is the simple um, RGB controller done. We can now save this one up as our simple RGB controller. And then I'm going to go and throw it onto the deck of the um, Voyager right here to show you guys how this actually works. So we're going to need three of these. We're also going to need a battery, a switch for power, and then an RGB light as well. And then I'm also going to grab here the microprocessor we just built. There we go, we have our simple RGB controller here. And now we have to connect up our red, green, and blue values. I'm going to name these real quick, um, red, green, and blue respectively, so that we can connect up the correct values up to this bar here. So green going to green, red going to red, and blue going to blue as well. Then we have to go over to our composite and connect that one light um, up to the RGB. And I do apologize, I've got all these lights up to this one controller here. But it's about the same system as this one. I just have a bunch more lights on the bottom here. Now we're also going to have to give all of these power from this one battery. So giving the three switches and the one light power. And now we can spawn this thing in right here and put our little headlight on. We will run over to the boat. All right, we will give it some power here. And now once we hit one value, if we push red all the way to the top, we get red. If we push green all the way top, we get green. And if we push blue all the way to the top, we get blue. And of course, if we want to mix and match values, you can turn different ones on to get different values. And we get like a almost white there if we equalize all the numbers. And you can get pink if you do 
light on these. We get purple there. And we're going to get probably that um, turquoise blue, light blue color of these. You can look up like a um, RGB circle type of thing to figure out um, which settings you need to um, change to to get what desired value. But that is the simple one here. And um, there is a second simple one that I'm going to build real quick and show you guys that is controlled by buttons. Um, so I'm going to jump right to that. All right, just like the other one, we have a red, green, and blue input, but I've changed them to on-off values this time. And for this system, we're actually going to have to use a numerical switch box to change around the values for this because we need to output a number to each one of these uh, to actually send them to the lights. And what's going to happen is we're going to just put numbers right here. And all we're going to do is we're going to need one number that is one instead of zero and all you have to do is connect the one up to the on values here and you are done and what this system is doing is it's got a value of zero for the off value because nothing is connected to it but once you click any of these buttons on it'll switch them on to the one value from here and it'll send out that one value to our output so we're going to change the number or the name of this to simple RGB controller 2 and save that up and then I'm going to switch over everything here as well grabbing our second RGB controller and putting down three toggle buttons of course we're gonna have to name them red green and blue respectively and then we're gonna connect them up to the controller as well after we give them power and we're going to connect them up to the correct values here. And of course you need to connect up your composite value here. Now we can spawn this thing in. And this is like the system I was showing at the beginning of the episode with um, absolute values of red, green, or blue because it is a value of either 0 or 1 through the numerical switch box here. And um, once you click the button, it'll switch over for that value. We can turn this on. We get blue, green, or red. And of course, you can mix or match to your heart's desire to get whatever um, color you want through the RGB spectrum. Now I'm going to go on to the more advanced one that has um, both controls there. Either the um, the numerical one um, with the throttles or the um, the toggle buttons ones. We're actually going to have to make this a little bit larger. And we're going to go to logics. We're going to have to have, I believe, seven here. Three of those being on-off values and three being numerical inputs. So let's get our three numerical inputs and three on-offs. And we're going to have to name these so we make sure we connect up the correct um, the correct buttons to all of these on the outside here so I'm gonna do that real quick and meet you guys over at the logic and of course this value here is going to have to be an output for composite like the other two systems so let's go to that now and we're gonna take red green and blue and move them over here and then the numerical values from red, green, or blue are going to go here and the output here as well. And I almost forgot we're going to need that switch button like we had at the beginning to switch between the two different control types. So we're going to put our switch value here. And first we're going to need three numerical switch boxes here and three numerical switch boxes here. And first we're going to be connecting up each the red, green, and blue here and I'm actually going to switch these around to have them running on the correct RGBs so connect that one up there that one there and that one to there and now that we've got all three of those connected we need one constant number going to each one of these on values with a value of one for the second value here we're gonna run the switched value to the off of this side and then the on is going to be the red, green, or blue from the numerical value. Then our switch is going to be running to the switch of each of these boxes. And we're also going to need to write three numbers here. So let's get three composite writes here. Connecting them up in that zigzag to there. 
connecting the outputs to each one here and we need to switch the channel for each composite making sure red is on one green is on two and blue is on three here and that is the entire system for that and i actually do need to go and name this one real quick um we'll just call it um dual system rgb control and we'll save that up as uh, dual system RGB control. And now that we have that done, we can go and build that onto the deck of the Voyager A. Eh? Need to find dual system, dual system RGB control. There we go. Now we can put that there. We're also going to need three throttles as well as that switch button there. And let's name these guys real quick as switch and red green and blue as well and click that one and once i'm done naming and setting everything up i'll bring you guys back in all right we've got that entire system done just like we had at the beginning of the boat and of course like we set up the um microprocessor all you have to do is connect up the red green or blue um, throttle or toggle button to the input from our microprocessor here and then that composite value to the light so it is just like the system I have built into here onto the Voyager like that we can switch our um, LED or RGB lights here excuse me we can get a nice blue happening right here and it does lag a little bit the um, the more lights you actually do put into your system but I think that's just um, Stormworks in general that lags with um, more and more lights in game but I don't know what we can do about that but anyways that is about all the time I do have for Stormworks today of course if you guys do need any help with any of the RGB lights composite values or anything of course I do read the comments as soon as I get to them and I am in my discord if you guys um, want to hop in there and talk to me I usually am not busy or I, I usually have fine time to help people Anyways, that is about all the time I do have for Stormwork today. If you guys like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great goodbyes, my people need me, and I need to go.